is a genius, but like, I think like one of the best things that you can be doing is uh, whatever makes you feel that way, uh, which is okay. Uh, I get, I said I'd stop getting all philosophical and like like uh, expositional, but uh, someday that'll be true. Um, so the epilogue stuff, right? Epilogue stuff happens down here. So if epilogue text, blah blah blah. Uh, right, so yeah, so we do uh, transition window plus, so yeah, so the, the next event gets scheduled for um, transition window plus trans duration uh, times event time scale. And so the epilogue gets scheduled for, for half of that. So, um, so I'm just going to say, uh, so yeah, right, so, uh, so I'll say like uh, half time, uh, or uh, ev half time uh, equal ha half spelled correctly. <laughs> uh, event half time equals uh, wait. When do we schedule the? Uh... Oh, wait. Where do we just get? Where do we just straight up schedule? The, blah, blah, blah. Where do we just straight up schedule the next event? It'll also be in place where we reference event time scale. Yeah. Event time. Oh, right. We, yeah, no. I'm an idiot. We do, like, okay. Yeah, no. Um, events don't use the schedule. Right, okay. Uh, but yeah, no. So, so detransition window plus transduration times event time scale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. All right, so whatever. Uh, half time... Mm -hmm. Event halftime will be uh, detransition window plus uh, yeah it'll it'll be this uh, so epilogues like I was saying epilogues will be scheduled for uh, ev uh, halftime uh, minus uh, thirty or minus minus thirty. Uh, Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to say, um, hmm. Hmm. I was going to say, instead of having uh, the epilogue scheduled for halftime, I might just schedule it for, like, quarter time or something. Because as it is now, they happen, like, kind of a long time after the previous event. So, like, the, the degree to which, like, it kind of ties into the previous event, like, I mean, it, it was happening at halftime because, like, I kind of meant it to, like, you know, uh, kind of like tie the t tie two events together a little bit like have like some connectedness between the two events but um i don't know i think i'd actually rather it like be more connected to the previous event because that's actually well no i mean like in a quest chain like it kind of it kind of does literally link two events but um uh <laughs> a million bugs awesome good job micro awesome you're being way more productive than i am today i'm jealous I'm jealous. <laughs> Do you? Are you streaming right now? <laughs> I'd be a little surprised if you were, because watching a stream and streaming at the same time would be challenging. But you should get into game dev streaming. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so yeah. All right. So no, for, yeah. No. For now, I'll just I'll just say uh, ev halftime uh, minus. Uh, I might go a little bit bigger. I might do like a full minute before. Uh, before. Um, Whatever. Uh, and then maybe I'll maybe I'll have um, maybe I'll have this other. Uh, so yes, is this this is gonna use the schedule? Yeah, this will use this. Oh 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 oh. Oh wait a second. If this uses the schedule, then I'll have to use schedule correction. Like what I was saying before with event time or with a or with a way mode. Yeah, I'll need to use schedule correction, but I guess that's actually fine. All right. Um. So one thing I'm gonna do is uh, defer schedule dot sort. Uh, because we we'll do it for the epilogue, but then also right here we're also gonna do uh schedule uh dot append uh. Uh. So what'll be ev uh half time? I'm actually gonna do ev half time plus sixty. I forget if I said that already. Um. Just to, to space these things apart. Keep them mostly central, but also, you know, 
Uh, so they're they're both close to the center of the, like the center point between two events, but they're they're also not just adjacent to each other necessarily because there's nothing corresponding the epilogue to like this occurrence. So okay. Um, uh, so what is this? This is a. Uh, uh, so this is a uh, I guess like uh, prompt. Uh, uh, guest uh, gems, I guess. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, so schedule dot sort. Oh, you know what I can, you know what I should really do. Uh, just because energies is like um, a part of the system, I should. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm doing trusty prompts, but I I, I will do persistence of energy levels. Um, like I was saying. So right now, what happens is if you leave the game, your energy level is wiped, and when you re-enter the game, you're back at energy level zero. But um, like I was saying earlier, if a guest, if a chat GM leaves the game, they actually have like a minute and a half or like somewhere somewhere along those lines to to reconnect before they're essentially like wiped. Um, and I think I want to apply that um, courtesy to other players as well, because energy like right now, energy levels is just like, hey, look at me. I have energy. I'm cool. Look at my stars. I'm cool. Um, but uh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna mean more. Like it's gonna have a, like a meaningful impact on how the game plays. So yeah, I'll definitely want to do that. And I knew I wanted to do it anyways, but like now now I really want. Yeah. Okay. Um, prompt guest gems. I, I think I've written like one line of code in like the last hour. <laughs> but I guess it was a really good line of code. So <laughs> a very meaningful and potent line of code. Uh, all right, so let's go to the schedule and uh, and add in. So like, where's where in the schedule do we uh, epilogue? Uh, oh no, ep no epilogue's not good. Uh, where in the schedule do we init event? Because this will happen like as often as init event. So l if uh, l if uh, do now uh, index one equals uh prompt uh guest uh excuse me uh prompt guest gms uh did I spell that correctly the awkward thing about using yeah okay uh strings for the messaging system is that like they're not symbols so yeah uh, okay your game is in very, very early stages. You couldn't even call it alpha, but you have a level and a character, which you find really cool. No, yeah, isn't that great? Like, when you... It doesn't matter if, like, your game is, like, a real game, but, like, literally at any point in a project where, like, your project is doing things that, like, you like, and it's, like, starting to feel like, like, you know, it, it's gonna be something. <laughs> if you could bottle that feeling, mm, I would, I would buy it by the case. Uh... Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I, I. Yeah. No. I. I. You don't have to explain yourself, Mike Crossum, because I. I completely understand the feeling, and. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's. Uh. Well. Okay. So all we really have to do here is just. Uh, I mean, the first, the first, one of the first most important things that we have to do is uh, let people know that this is happening. So, Trusty Bard will say, um, "Hey, jerk face." No. Um, uh, uh, oh yeah, writing. Uh, I'm, I'll just put in like temp text for now because I don't. I'll, I'll want to. i like a Trusty Bard has like a. a not like a super well defined voice, but Trusty Bard definitely has like a voice. Like Trusty Bard has like a manner of speaking, and so I want to make sure that this ascribes to that manner of speaking. But for now, I'll just say like, um, uh, adventures, uh, 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 or uh, or like so no, Trusty Bard will say like what uh, what uh, adventure uh. Uh, what, uh, what adventures, 
Uh, no, I should get I should get right to the point. Um, yeah, no, there should be like a recognizable phrase. Yeah, like the I mean, typically like Trusty Bard will open with a recognizable phrase that you don't have to parse everything that Trusty Bard says in order to know like what the gist is. Like when you see Hark, you know it's an event. When you see Low, you know that it's uh, the result of an event, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when you see Huzzah, you know it's a bonus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did I have a gold star? Uh, um, okay. Uh, let's, uh, I, I don't really need it to be like huzzah. Like, cause th this is never a command. Oh wait, is it? Ooh. Oh wait, is it? Maybe this is a command. Maybe I should treat this like a command. Because like I was saying before, like the, the mute switch, like the uh, the toggle switch, when the toggle switch is on, we could make it so that the acting GM, whether it's me as administrator or a, a, another chat GM, we could make it so that there's a command for the active GM to incur these, right? So like, even if they're not, if, even if they're not on by default, so maybe there is no mute switch. Maybe it's the job of the acting GM. No, there, there's still a mute switch because I need to be able to toggle or deactivate this. Uh, but um, no, right. So yeah. So uh, so maybe the mute switch is implicit for the acting GM, acting chat GM. Right. Okay. So uh, let's go to our uh, our good old list of archaic uh, words. Uh, the same list we always use and see if there's a uh, one to express uh so what is it it's it's supposed to express like uh like uncertainty but like um but like good uncertainty like uh like it's supposed to some we need so like what, what i want to convey with this word is like is like 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 limit not limitless but like 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 uh, you know, kind of like when you're standing on like the edge of like something like, like sprawling and like, you know, like you you know you do, you have no clue what could happen, but you know it could be almost anything, right? Like that sort of thing. So like, uh, you know, just that. If there's just a if there's just a nice archaic word that expresses exactly that sentiment, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> so uh, about concerning at once immediately, right? Correctly, be gone across in opposition to sideways, transversely, anything at all, something, uh, away, hence, yes, formally, most likely, probably, in short time, speedily, between, in truth, certainly, uh, to name, to call again afterwards, soon after, mild oath, uh, in addition, also likewise, lengthwise, enough, before, before long, soon, until now, eyes, happily inclined, pleased, expression of disgust or disapproval, past near so basically like the opposite of an expression of disgust or disapproval uh past near at an earlier time or period in truth indeed immediately turned away self-wild unreasonable perverse adverse mild oath mild oath <laughs> warn and cry <laughs> expression of gratitude or surprise uh to pay close attention to listen until now expression of el elation or wonder heyday maybe i don't know could be worse uh because like wonder yeah i mean that's kind of like what i was getting at like you know, so heyday, I don't know, heyday, I'll jot down heyday as, like, a potential, uh, it's like, uh, heyday, uh, sure, I kind of like that one, name called, name, named called, command call, expression used to attract attention to this place, although, if ever, kind or nature, inwardly, thoroughly, surely, certainly, expression of regret, soon, sorry, I'm just reading this, it's, it's slightly less boring than me reading it, inside my own head um expression of surprise agreement in spite of perhaps fitting proper it seems to me believe think not at all nevertheless not standing necessary certainly nearly almost not at all mild oath before partly mild oath certainly my faith barely personally perhaps adventure by chance uh that's not a real word per adventure that's it's that's made up um <laughs> expression of with expression of wish or request powerful mighty expression of surprise contempt Council advised pretty small remarks, seat thrown since somewhat, someplace, somewhere. I'm doing a really bad job of reading this, but whatever. Truth, reality, truth, and honest, faithfully, prosperity, success. Speed means prosperity, success. Sure, why not? I'm guessing that's like Godspeed or whatever. Uh, strict, rigorous, constricted, visions, theme, sleep, dreams, swevin. 
They had a word for that? That's great. That's top notch. This is why I read this stuff. Not to like actually find stuff that's productive, but just to find stupid words like swevin. <laughs> Sorry. Um, tutorial to labor instantly in instrument manner. Swoop steak. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've found that word before. And I'm pretty sure I've spent like time talking about how <laughs> dumb and made up it sounds. Alright, sorry. Uh, into that, I won't spend any more time. Into that, they're upon with the fourth besides place to, I think heyday is probably going to be it. Uh, to endure suffer through between swords, through the certainty, confidently, back to first accord, and blood, special arm, I'm not even reading words at this point. I don't use respect for place, blah, 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 Heyday is basically the winner. I'm glad I got... I get I get new followers at the weirdest times. Um, uh, Sean got strike. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for following. <laughs> I honestly have no clue why someone would follow when all I'm doing is reading from this list, but I really appreciate that you chose this time. Um, so thank you. <laughs> um, maybe I can read word lists more often, maybe. I don't know. I just, like... I always, like... I don't know. It, like... I'm sorry, all I meant to express is that, like, some, sometimes, like, that follower notes will happen at times that where I do not expect it. Like, the times where I least expect it. And I always, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it's like it punctuates to me. <laughs> like, how not a good streamer I'm being. But, I don't know. It all works out cute. Thank you for following. Um, <laughs> this room. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to serve. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad to, uh, to share that information, to impart that information. The world has to know. Alright, um, so yeah, so it's, it's almost certainly heyday. Uh, wood means mad, insane, wild. Alright, I'm, we have to, we have to stop. We have to go do something. Uh, we have to go do something else. Um, okay, so heyday. It's clearly heyday. Uh, heyday, uh, let me just, like, Double check what that means. Like, define heyday. Because I know it means something else. Right now it means, like, yeah. A period in person's things create a success, right? Because, like, now we use that term to mean, like, back in my heyday or whatever. Like, you know, back when, uh... Trevanicus, it was great to see you. I hope to see you again in the near future. <laughs> uh, it is great as ever. Uh, your your presence is, is uh, always, always very much appreciated here. So, um, thank you for stopping in. <laughs> Um, okay, so, heyday, heyday, uh, um, uh, so, yeah, so what I want to express here is that, um, uh, something, so basically now I want to, like, just kind of, like, expound a little bit on, like, what, um, what we're saying here, like, uh, 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 well, okay, so actually, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get cute with it. Maybe I'll say, like, uh, who, uh, knows, uh, where are our, not our, our, uh, adventures, uh, will lead us next. Uh, no, seriously, uh, <laughs> uh, let's, uh, get some, uh, volunteers, uh, <laughs> uh, say, um, I don't know, uh, like, it'll, it should be a simple action tag, like, I, uh, uh, say I, uh, now, uh, if, uh, uh, you, uh, if you can, uh, uh, take, uh, uh, if you can, um, or if you can, uh, if you can, uh, so who knows where adventures will lead us next? No, seriously, let's get some volunteers. Say, I now, if you, um, if you will, uh, will, uh, uh, take, uh, if you will, well, no, I'll, I'll just be very, I'll just be very overt. Um, if, say, or so, okay, wait, I'll, I'll put this in the right order, though, too. Uh, if, uh, let's get some volunteers. If you, uh, will, uh, write, 
uh, the uh, next uh, chapter, or uh, write the next, not chapter, write the next uh, page uh, of our uh, story. If you'll write the next, uh, well, next line uh, of our story, uh, say uh, I now. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Jesse Freeman. Thank you for hosting. Welcome, uh, welcome viewers. Uh, we're working on side quest. Uh, we're working on, uh, it's a game on the bottom of the screen. Uh, it is a, if you haven't seen it before, it is a game. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm not actually not supposed to, sorry. Uh, just me. I'm not supposed to just straight up say it. I'm supposed to do say Q dot put, uh, right. Okay. Um, yeah, no, what we're working on is, uh, it's like, kind of, it's like a very story driven game and specifically the feature that we're putting in right now is a way for, uh, players to spontaneously kind of like take turns as like, uh, storytellers, like players can like opt in to like, if, if a player wants to, uh, like, well, yeah, so literally like write the next line of our story, uh, uh, they they can opt in all right so so that's the first so like yeah right so the first step of this process is or uh like you know the step that we're writing right now is like the part where trusty bard actually says like hey oh yeah okay so say q dot okay well actually um i'm gonna say uh oh yeah i, I mean i guess i should just like define this somewhere else because like um it's like uh uh right okay so um so prompt guest GMs, uh, I'm going to say, uh, so we're going to have a, um, yeah, it just occurred to me, <laughs> since this string doesn't change, I should, like, put it somewhere else. Uh, it's like, uh, uh, like, guest uh, GM uh, prompt uh, equals uh, that string. Uh, so wait, uh, hey day, uh, right, because, yeah, so, um, Oh, huh. Oh, you know what? I was just thinking, like, um... This, this would not just show up in chat. This would also show up on screen. The thing about that is that, um... Like, it, it doesn't, this doesn't evaluate immediately. Like, this process is not going to be first come, first serve. This process is going to, there's going to be, like, a window. And, um, at the end of that window, you know, someone will get chosen based on all the factors that we set up in terms of calculation, uh, calculating, like, the, you know, the, the player. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, so how do we, uh, how do we handle that? Uh, because, of, because of stream delay, um, stuff will show up on screen. Like, I mean, I guess, yeah, no, I mean, I, I guess this is fine. We can just, uh, oh, well, yeah, okay, so, uh, so let's cut the string, because, right, the string is going, uh, elsewhere. Uh, 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 wait, what? Prompt, what do I call it? prompt, oh, prompt guest, uh, or yeah, so guest GM prompt, uh, 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 guest GM, oh uh, yeah, we'll call it guest GM's prompt, and then it'll be, okay, so it'll be this string, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I guess, so it'll, it'll, as is usually the case, it'll just show up in, uh, it'll show up in chat before it shows up on screen, but we'll just leave it open long enough that, you know, stuff um <laughs> that the, like the wind yeah okay so uh so uh say you dot put uh 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 what do we call it uh guest gm's prompt uh and then also uh screen text or no uh what how does this work it's uh it's graphics message uh messages dot put uh uh screen text screen text uh guest, uh, GMs, uh, GMs, uh, prompt. Oh, um, also, yeah, actually, so with guest GMs prompt, we should, um, 
Just so that we don't have to, like, check for characters, special characters. I mean, there aren't any special characters in that message. But just in case I accidentally put a special character in this message at some point and forget to uh, update the, uh, the, the, uh, the font system, um, we're going to... What the crap? Oh, that's weird. Wait, what just happened? Undo, undo, redo, redo. Okay. I don't know what just happened. Um, yeah, just because... Uh, right, so I have this... Uh, I do this thing where... Um, I basically, like, all the, all the pre-scripted text in the game, I... Um, I hand, I like, I, I parse it up front and uh, I make sure, that, yeah, so uh, for LI and events, graphics message, no, oh yeah, new, char new, new characters, uh, right, so we'll just say, uh, alright, so we'll, we'll define the string here, I guess, and then, uh, oh wait, that's not indented properly, uh, doo -doo -doo. and then we'll say, uh, Right, so, so for uh, C in uh, guest uh, gems, uh, not quest, guest. Uh, <laughs> those words are very similar. Uh, guest gems prompt. Uh, we say, uh, f was it so? If if C not in default character set, yeah. Uh, do -do -do. Ah, do, do, do. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Ah, do, do, do. Ah, do, 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 do. Okay. So now we don't have to worry about putting it on screen text. And uh. Um. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's uh. Do what now then? Um, we have to schedule. Yeah, right. So now we schedule the. Um, so schedule uh, dot append. Uh, uh, like choose uh, guest GM. Uh, Oh yeah. So oh so yeah. I, we should also at this at this juncture we should say, um, well, yeah. Uh, at this juncture we should. Um, like open the gates like basically because we have to because we're, we're going to want to start like putting together a list of everyone who volunteers or everyone who signs up um i mean hypothetically we actually don't need a list hypothetically because only one person will get chosen ultimately hypothetically we can always just keep track of a single person and then just uh only update that person like whenever someone says i like we only have to update that person Update that if the if, if like un, if they like beat the the previous high bid, um, but uh, yeah so uh, the, so the other thing that was occurring to me is that like hypothetically like players who understand the system, they wouldn't necessarily have to wait until like this prompt goes out. No, uh, we will wait until this prompt goes out. So uh, so right so uh, uh, so like uh, guest uh, GM search uh equals uh true right and then so we'll say uh so yeah so i mean this would be a fine juncture to reset like if we're keeping track of a list or like basically just make to make sure that we're initialized and ready to start fielding um a potential guest gm so like uh do do i want to do a list what's the uh yeah, I guess a list would be, well, maybe a set. Maybe we'll just do a set, and then uh, we can just have like a, and then at the end we can just iterate, and then when, so we'll just keep a set, and like anyone who says who opts in will get added to the set, and then at the end of the uh, 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, so uh, guest uh, GM volunteers uh, equals uh, set and uh, uh, let's define this somewhere uh, so that um, it's a thing that exists. Uh, guest GM prompt uh, guest GM volunteers equals set. Uh, is it capital S set or is it just lowercase s set? I think it's just lowercase s set. Oh yeah, it's lowercase s set. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, okay, so we reset that and then uh, yeah. Okay, so now let's define choose guest gem. Uh, so l if uh, do now. Oh wait wait wait. Yeah. So we schedule dot append. Oh yeah, derp. <laughs> That's not how that works. Uh, we schedule dot append uh, frame time. Uh, plus, uh, we don't have to keep it. We don't have to keep this window open forever. But let's keep it open for like two minutes. Two minutes feels like a lot. Maybe a minute and a half. Because I want it to be a so stream delay. Hmm. I want it to be long enough for like so like stream delay. I think I I tend to think of stream delay as like roughly twenty seconds long. So I want to make sure that like. So because of stream delay, this won't show up on screen for like 20 sec 20 ish seconds later. Um, and then, uh, I want it like hypothetically, like I, or ideally it would actually like clear the screen before we actually close the, uh, the, the window. Um, but, uh, We, you know, stream delay is variable, so I'm not going to make it, 90 seconds is fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't feel like it's fine to myself. <laughs> All right. So, oh yeah, right. So, uh, so we append that and then, all uh, right. So schedule.sort is the last thing. Uh, doo -doo -doo. uh, okay. So LF do now index one equals, uh, uh, choose, uh, guest, uh, GM, then, uh, in that case, uh, yeah, so we need to, uh, we need to do more things. Specifically, we need to, uh, we need to, um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna comment the, the, this part out, just because, uh, uh, until I have the system actually, like, implemented, I don't want to actually be saying or showing these things. Uh, so we'll test the system just going by the debug log, and then once the system is actually in and real, and not a terrible lie, then um, then we can start uh, actually saying it too. Because yeah, I mean we have to choose the SGM, but we also need um, the other like other things that we need to hook up are um, the part where we actually like parse player input to to like see who's registered. Yeah. Okay. So uh, oh, I didn't make guestgm search like a value, did I? I mean I made like uh, I made like gm guest volunteers a value. Oops. Uh, Wait, what? Copy GM search, find volunteers. Yeah, right. Um, uh, yeah, so this uh, defaults to false. Uh, right, so then, uh, why did we just teleport? Oh, yeah, we were supposed to teleport. Uh, Cause that was, that's an example of an epilogue. It's, it's uh, what's happening right now is, is not an event it's actually happening in directly between two other events, and it's explaining uh, what happened, because, like, last event was uh, the surface of the sea rips open by the tail and maw of a gnashing wild serpent. If you hide below deck, you might not get eaten. If you stay at your station, the ship might outpace the beast. Low, through a porthole, you catch a glimpse of the serpent devouring whole, a large shark. Uh, you remain unnoticed, and then you emerge from the lower decks when you hear the boat scraping on a tangle of seaweed. You've reached the rocky shores of the Great Northern Mountains. There's a bug that sometimes causes teleportation, like sort of, um, which so like, like whenever I see the whenever I see the game teleport, I'm like, ah, is it that bug? But no, okay. Um, uh, all right, uh, right. So uh, yeah, so one thing that we do when we choose guest GM is uh, we. Oops, why is it indenting that? Oh, because I have like, whatever. Um, selection in this IDE is really not ideal. Uh, all right, so guest uh, GM search uh, equals false. This is just going to be the value that um, 
like only when guest search guest gm search equals true are we actually going to bother parsing players input to to see if they're volunteering um <laughs> sorry <laughs> you know what just occurred to me as um amusing is um the idea of uh factoring verbosity into uh the um <laughs> into the um the text whereby players volunteer for the event um that might be that might be overdoing it that might be a little too much but um the idea entertained me um okay so uh so we'll say uh so for uh pi in uh guest uh or no what is it uh yeah, guest GM volunteers. Uh, we will say uh, okay. So yeah, so one thing that occurred to me is like, what if someone uh, volunteers, wins, but is like AFK? And they don't actually like deliver. I mean, I know what happens the game just does a prescripted event in the near future. And that player gets fired. Um, <laughs> or, like, the other thing that I meant, um, like, uh, I, I mentioned before, um, so actually, I'm going to make a note of it. Um, so, uh, 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 with Toggle uh, and uh, players uh, can get fired. Um no, yeah. If you if you if you volunteer and then botch it somehow, like if you mess up that opportunity, you're going to get like, like the game will remember, and uh, <laughs> you're not like perma banned or anything. Why do I have Trello open twice? Um, you're not perma banned or anything, but like, uh, you you kind of you you kind of got yeah. You you just like it's it's gonna be like another damper value, and uh, it's gonna. It's just going to make it, yeah, like the players who really deliver, uh, you know, they're, yeah, I, I hopefully the reasons there are clear. Uh, okay. Um, sorry, what time is it? I feel like, yeah, it's like 4.37. Um, and, uh, I just, yeah, okay. I'd lost track of time at some point, but or, anyways, uh, so guess GM, so for PN and guess GM, uh, volunteers, uh. Yeah, so we we will just pick one. I was thinking like we could do. A, uh, well, actually, uh, no. Yeah, we'll only pick one. Cause like worst case scenario, a prescripted event happens instead. That's not like so bad. Like it's not like. It's not like that's uh. Hmm. I don't know. I can always like, if like if 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 it turns out that like this is too difficult and like players tend to like volunteer for the opportunity and the winner of the opportunity tends to botch it, like I can always like come back and like add in protocols whereby like a runner up is chosen, you know, to fill in or whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Okay, so uh, but should I start putting the list together? Cause like I don't know, that does seem like feasible or like like something that I'd I'd probably want to be doing. But then, like, how many runners-up will there be, right? Like, and that kind of, like, I don't know. That kind of, like, defeats the purpose of, like, what I was doing before. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just put a list together. It's not like it's going to be that difficult. It's not like it's going to be that different. No, it is. No, I'll put together, like, no, I'll just, I'll just pick one. For now. Okay. So, um... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, with all these other values, uh, I should define a guest GM. Uh, uh, guest GM equals blank. And then, uh, so for PI in uh, guest GM volunteers, uh, we will say what? Uh, <coughs> no, I will put together a list. No. Yes? No. No, 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 no. Okay, because, like, I was like, I was like, oh, we'll put together a list, because 
if that player literally leaves the game, then we'll go with the next play next runner up. But the thing is, like, we can only do that so much because, um, for one thing, I was talking about putting in that cooldown so that when a player leaves the game, they're not removed from the game immediately. They have a chance to reconnect before they're removed from the game entirely. But um, then the other thing is that. Uh, what was the other thing? Uh, yeah, we're on a timer, right? So, like, if, uh, if like, players, like, start bailing and, like, then we go, we'll go to the next, uh, the next person on the list or whatever, like, we don't want to, like, postpone the next event. That would actually be, like, worse overall. So, um, we, we can only push it back so far because, like, if we, like, let's say there's only two minutes left until the next event. Like, can we really choose a new guest GM at that point? Because that only gives that person two minutes to write the event. And, like, typically, I think, like, it's better to have a little more time than that. Because, like, otherwise it, like, just feels, I don't know. I think it would end up feeling, like, rushed or, like, I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, you know what? No, yeah, you know what is, uh, you know, it's going to be the, you know how I was saying, like, I want to have a metric of, like, player feedback that, like, factors into, like, how successful a guest GM was? Um, I think it's going to be participation. How successful a guest GM is, and like whether they're fired, not whether they're fired, I'll call it like, I should, it shouldn't just be like how fired a person is, it should be like how, yeah, okay, so if a person is like wildly successful at guest GM, they shouldn't get as dampened, right? Like, um, if someone's like an abject failure, like they just failed to deliver at all, or, um, you know, they're just otherwise, like, thoroughly disappointing. Like, um... Oh. <sighs> Alright, I'll have to be, I'll have to be, like, judicious about how I handle this. Because, like, some types of events are probably going to elicit a higher percentage of participation than other types of events. And so if I just make it based entirely on popularity, then, like, that actually just encourages players to just like spam a particular event type maybe that's fine though is that fine though because like if if players are like enthusiastic about a particular event type then like why not give it to them a bunch and then like that kind of like naturally like fixes itself because when players start getting bored of that event type then um then they'll naturally start to wane from participation i don't know yeah, I, w I think I want to play with that idea, though. So I'll add that. Like I said, like, this is kind of like, this, this, I knew going in that this, this, this one task would be like a spider web of like, you know, implementation details and stuff. Uh, players, uh, so players, uh, players can't just get fired, like, uh, and players, like, uh, get, um, uh, get like, um, uh, commendation, uh, or, uh, yeah, no, basically get, like, recommendations, uh, uh, recommendations, uh, based on, uh, performance, uh, as guest GM. Uh, so, like, good, good recommendations means a, a lower damper, because there always has to be a damper. There's always going to be at least a little bit of a damper, just so that one person can't, like, take over the game. Uh, there's at least supposed to be a little bit of, like, rotation. Uh, well, actually, no. I guess maybe the, uh... Hmm. I don't know. Again. There's a lot to, there's a lot to decide here. There's a lot to decide, a lot to implement. I should do more implementing... No, I should just... I should do a lot of both. A lot of deciding, a lot of implementing. Let's, let's do it. Let's get it done. All right, so for, for PI and guest GM volunteers, uh, uh, oh, yeah, so, uh, so like, uh, guest GM uh, equals uh, blank, and then we'll say, uh, so we'll say, yeah, guest GM equals blank, uh, guest uh, GM uh Flimbicity? No, uh, sorry. Guest GM, uh, oh, 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 uh, yeah, actually, we only have to do this if, uh, so, like, hypothetically, no one could volunteer, and so if the length of, um, the length of guest, uh, GM volunteers, 
Yeah, uh, right, actually, hold on. I, I'll still reset uh, guest gem and guest gem, whatever that other value is supposed to be. But then, uh, yeah, so then if the length of guest gem uh, is uh, greater than uh, zero, then we'll do the rest of the stuff. Uh, uh, if, uh, right, so uh, so yeah, guest gem uh, val or whatever, I don't know, uh, equals zero. And then, okay, so for pi in gem guest volunteers, uh, if, uh, so first, if, uh, if pi in a uh, player set because if the players if the player volunteers and then leaves the game then there will not they will not be the uh the guest gym uh so if pi in player set uh and uh player uh dictionary uh index pi uh dot oh no um okay so if pi in player set uh actually yeah now that i think about it um it's so like uh, pi uh, val uh, equals uh, player dictionary uh, index uh, pi dot energy times player uh, dictionary player dictionary index uh, pi dot and this might not be the exact formula uh, verbosity but it's it's I don't know it's something like this. Uh, Energy times verbosity, uh, right? So then, if uh, if pi val is greater than uh, guest gem val, uh, then uh, guest gem equals. Uh, actually, I don't have to run this check now that I think about it. Uh, I'll run a different check because if if this is length zero, then this loop won't loop over anything. So uh, so guest gem. Uh, equals well no I, I could do it either way it doesn't really matter uh sean got swag congratulations on level two uh guest gm equals uh i uh, what what does it equal um it equals pi uh and guest gem val uh guest gem val equals pi val so this is basically just to, we just loop over literally everyone who's volunteered, and we end up with the, um, oh, maybe guest GM search shouldn't be a set, because then hypoth, I mean, these are floats, no, these, okay, so these are floats. So it's like it's never really going to be the case that like two of them are like literally equal, but I think hypothetically because we're using a set here instead of a list, if two of them are literally equal, um, it will go with the player who's uh, alphabetically superior, superior, which. Nah. I don't I don't think we want that to be the case. Um so uh yeah, let's just make this a let's make this a list instead. Uh which means that there can be dupes hypothetically. Uh should I do a list and a set? Maybe. I guess that is technically like what I'm trying to accomplish. Basically like an ordered set. <laughs> oh, I could just do a dictionary with timestamps. No, because I, I, I literally want to evaluate it and list or whatever. It's list is fine. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> guest GM volunteers, uh, guest uh, GM set, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so this is actually a list. <laughs> and then guest uh, GM set equals a set, and then, alright, fine. Uh, okay. 
So we don't actually go, we don't actually loop over the set. We look, or no, yeah, right. We don't loop over the set. We uh, we loop over the the list. So now the um, so now it won't be it won't give a um, uh, alphabetical precedence. It will give a chronological precedence. So like the per if if there there's not going to be a tie hypothetically, there could technically be a tie. There can be a t so the the case that we're in there can be a tie is if two players literally follow the exact same action path, which actually isn't that uncommon because there's always going to be an optimal... Yeah, no, actually, th this is a valid scenario because, um, you know, there's a maximum amount of energy you can gain each round. And so two players who are, like, really good at the game, like, they can very easily gain the maximum amount of energy each round. And if those two players stay neck and neck, the one who will have the advantage here is will be the, the player... Um, you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, um, ooh, <laughs> oh, it is gonna be a dictionary. It's gonna be a dictionary. Yeah, cause no, now that I think about it, we're gonna do it with verbosity. So it's not just going to be. Oh no, but that's like bottable. I was going to say, like, I mean, like, hypothetically, like, it shouldn't be a race. Really, it should be, like, the person with the better bid. And, like, better bids are calculated with verbosity in this context, so... But then that is, that, like, that almost encourages players to bot. Because, like, if they have, like... Yeah. Oh! You know what I could do? Oh... No, I think I just solved botting. I think I just solved botting. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, I didn't, like... It's not, like, a perfect solution, necessarily, but, like... I think it's a pretty good solution. Like, what... Okay, like I was saying earlier, when we were talking about botting... Um, like I was saying... You don't need an ironclad solution in order to discourage botting. Like, to have a workable system, you, it doesn't need to be, like, it doesn't need to be impervious. It needs to, it needs that, um, you don't, it, all, all you have to do is you have to make the, um, the, the value of trolling to be significantly less than the price of trolling. Um, so, basically... If it's like if you have to like if it's like aggravating to be a troll and being a troll doesn't actually have much of an impact on anyone else then why then people just will naturally not do that right like i mean some people still will because some people are like just really like poorly motivated <laughs> let's say <laughs> but um Okay, this is crazy. This is crazy. And I literally, I know I shouldn't, but I like actually kind of feel bad about it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut trusty bard. Everything that needs to be said gets said on screen at this point. So there's no reason to have a, uh, there's no reason to have it in chat. And a bot would be reading chat. A bot would not be reading the on-screen text. So, yeah. So, what you can do, if you wanted to, is you could make a bot that parses uh, the, the on-stream visuals for language uh, recognition. And, right? You, so, you could do that. Whoa. Whoa, you guys. Whoa. <laughs> um. Whoa. Um, yeah, I... Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to cut it yet. But I'm going to just deactivate the SACU. 
Like, everything is going to still do stuff and stuff, except uh, I'm just going to make it so that um, this AQ doesn't actually do anything. Uh, so we're just never actually going to say it. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For people watching right now, they're probably like, eh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but, um, to me, personally, like, I, I talk about Trusty Bard as if Trusty Bard is a person, so, um, <laughs> to me, this is really heavy. Um, <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's continue on. Let's not, let's work through the emotion. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what uh, what made me think of that? Um, oh yeah, the verbosity, and the botting, right? Yeah, no, that that it be, it became really clear that that was a point where botting materially impacted and affected and in a very negative way what would be a, a player's experience, not just a player's experience, but like some of the um the most um the most involved players like the players who are like so into it like they're the, the player like in order to get chosen as a guest gm you have to be really try for it like it's not going to be free it's not going to be easy so like these the players who get these opportunities um have to really work for it and yeah so th i think that was part of it just because like i wanted to implement a system where that like would act like would choose fairly amongst humans but that was so exploitable to bots um and and that it was not just any player it was these like it was like these not so um every player is important right like you don't have to be a potential guest gm in order to be important to the game like i want the game to work well for every player but um the players yeah no like the average player like the casual player who's not super into it like bots don't really affect them as much because like unless you're really gunning for like a top spot for example then like you know what do you care if like the other person like over there who's doing something different is like a real person in real life right like um right so it's yeah it's not that i care about these players more it's that um these players have an experience in the game that is unique to this group of players and and uh and that experience is as valid as every other experience and so i, I want that one to be uh yeah i don't know why i'm explaining myself I, f I think i think actually right now subconsciously i'm explaining myself to trusty bard <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i know he's not real i just um he'll stay in the game like i mean hypothetically there's no reason to actually have trusty bard like actually in the game anymore uh, the only reason i put it, placed him in the game was to emphasize the fact that uh yeah Oh, my heart! <laughs> a small piece of me. <laughs> a small piece of me is missing now. Um, okay. Once upon a time, Trusty Bard was the entire game. Sorry. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> I just can't handle this. <laughs> no, okay, so, uh, Guest GM Volunteers is a dictionary. And, uh... And then, uh... So what we're gonna do here is, uh... Guest GM volunteers is a dictionary. Oh, you're right. So, uh, so we can get rid of that set. Uh, guest GM set is not a real thing, because uh, dictionaries kind of act like dictionaries kind of act like sets in that um, they uh, they they don't have duplicate entries. Uh, so for pi, so you're right. So now we're gonna so now what we're gonna say is uh, right. So for pi and just volunteers, we're um, well yeah okay so no um. We have to loop twice, uh, cause we're gonna, so we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna see, say like, uh, so like, GM, so like, uh, guest, uh, GM candidates, uh, candidates, uh, equals an empty list, and we'll say, so for PN player set, uh, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get, like, 
the uh the contents of a dictionary as a list of of value pairs but um oh well no we're we're filtering for the player set here so so that's enough reason i guess uh okay so guest uh uh guest uh gm candidates dot append uh right so we're filtering for the player set and we're also uh we're also uh, inverting the data pairs. It's not going to go key value. It's going to go value key. Um, so it's going to be uh, uh, guest GM uh, volunteers uh, index pi uh, comma pi. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's all we we're going to do in this loop. And then we're going to say uh, guest uh, GM uh, candidates dot sort. Uh, reverse uh, equals true because again we want the uh, the highest value up front and then uh, right so what we're what this so what's happening here is not the energy verbosity thing what's happening here is um is like the the verbos so yeah what what the the values in this dictionary are going to be the um the verbosity of the uh, the the specific um, call, like the the excuse me, the um, so like right, so players have to say I to to like a volunteer for this, and uh, and uh, that statement is going to get evaluated for verbosity, and that's going to be the tiebreaker. It's going to be evaluated in a slightly different way, I think. I don't know. Whatever. There's not going to be ties. No, there are going to be ties. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever, this is good enough. <laughs> it can't be literally perfect. Like, the only way to make it literally perfect and fair would be to have, like, a human evaluate it. But, like, that's not... Like, that's not programmatically... That's not... I mean, you, like, have to hire someone to do that, and that doesn't, that's, that's beyond scope, so. Uh, right, for this project, it's gonna be like this. So, all right, so now we say for, uh, for PI in, uh, guest, uh, guest GM candidates, uh, we'll say, uh, maybe I shouldn't do verbosity. Maybe I should just do time stamping. I guess it doesn't really matter overall because we have the damping thing. So if like two people are tied for like the top spot, then uh, one of it will get it the first time, and then one of it will get it the next time. I'll probably want to reduce the uh, the time cycle, like the the the, the expected. Uh, I'll, I'll want to reduce. Oh wow. Yeah, you know what just occurred to me is that. Um, I'll need to, uh, oh, no, this is fine, actually. Yeah, I was going to say I'll need to, um, right, if, so if, if the game is constantly run by guest GMs, then, uh, I was thinking, like, there's, there'll be nothing to drive the environment changes, because the environment changes are, right now, they're driven by the, uh, by trusty bards, uh, automated event system, but actually that will continue to drive the scenario, because, um, Trusty Bard will still be secretly behind the scenes. Trusty Bard will still be, uh, will still be, uh, running the, uh, the, the, the backup, like the plan B, like automated system. And so the transitions actually happen in anticipation of that. So the transitions will still tend to occur. Uh, okay. Um, so guess GM val equals pi val. Yeah, right. So good. So right. Uh, so then we say uh, so like if uh, guest uh, GM uh, not equal uh, blank, then uh, we actually. So this is when when we we have the GM. We have found our GM. Um, Hmm. 
You know what I might want to do? Now that the, uh... Yeah, you know what I might want to do is that now that, um... Now that there's no chat text, or, like, when there's no chat text and everything is happening on screen, I'll probably want to bump up the legibility of the text that scrolls across the bottom of the screen. But the crazy thing about that is that in order to bump up the size of the text, I'll have to move all the visuals, like, literally all of the game visuals up or do something because as it is now, um, the, uh... The text is like doesn't the text like if yeah the text like any text any bigger than the current text wouldn't fit down there debatably the current text doesn't even fit down there so actually this might be a pretty good argument for putting the text not on the bottom of the screen but rather on the top of the screen that was one thing that i considered before is having a uh, like i like having i ha like having it all together but i also don't like that the text covers up like the adventure's legs I actually don't mind it. I've kind of come to terms with it. Yeah, so I'm thinking I might actually, like, I might move all of the graphics up a little bit and just, like, draw more graphics down in the bottom there. Because, um, like, when there's not text showing up, we'll want something to be down in that space. And so, like, basically just, like, yeah, move everything up and then... Dr oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't make the graphics too much bigger because that... Because we're actually, like, kind of blocked on... We're not we're not blocked yet, but if I made the graphics much bigger, we would start getting blocked on uh, draw time because, you know, the game already, you know, like, like basically, yeah, the, the the graphics are currently at a place where if we're not at the we're not at the limit of like what Pi game can draw, but we're close enough to the limit that I can't you know go biting off like giant chunks of like what to do next or like what else you know, I can't I can't be biting off like bigger chunks than. Anyways, uh, uh, yeah, I want a, uh, I want an audio cue for this as well. I'll definitely want an audio cue for, for when these opportunities arise, because, like, the text scrolling along the bottom of the screen is going to be really subtle. Oh, you know what I could do? You know what? Okay, instead of making the text on the bottom of the screen bigger, I can add a second place where vital okay yeah so like you know how like during an event uh the the action tags show up in the text on the bottom of the screen like hark evidence indicates the jester has been destroying evidence recovered list of names uh local tavern you could poke around the establishment uh there blah blah, blah. um but poke and peace uh are are big and prominent like we show those because poke and peace are the the, the pertinent action tags and those are shown like big uh like front and center so so yeah, so I think for other, like, we'll probably want to use similar uh, presentation for, like, other vital points of information. Um, for example, when the guest GM is chosen, we'll want to make sure that guest GM sees that they were chosen. So we'll probably want a, an audio effect for when we, for when we open the... No, you know what? We probably won't have an audio effect for when it's time to, like, get called as guest GM that is going to be the responsibility of the of the people who would be interested in guest jamming because it's predictable right it, it's it'll always happen at the exact same amount of time at after the end of the previous event so if you're super into it and you like really got to do it then uh you, you know you'll 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 you can even start a timer you can you, you can even like count down exactly i think it's right now i think it's exactly like 8.5 minutes from the end of the previous event um and then, uh, you, uh, yeah, there, there will, there'll probably be an audio alert though when the, when the guest GM is chosen, uh, because, I don't know, just cause. Well, so for one thing, I want the, uh, I want the guest GM to recognize that they got chosen. I want it to be like, hey, come on, buddy, like get with, like you're on, like this is your time. Time is now, like go, go time. Um, and then also, uh, I, uh, uh, what was it? Um, <laughs> oh, I want to, I want to be aware of it. Right. Yeah. There's, and it was like, wait, there's another reason I want to be aware of it too, because, uh, 
this this system is going to require heavy moderation and so i want to be on my toes i want to know like very clearly you know what i might even do you actually no you know what i'm gonna you know what i'm totally gonna do is i'm just gonna have um a button on my secret control panel that automatically just with one click kills the event bans the guest gm because they're like that button is gonna see use (laughs) <laughs> i'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna use it very judiciously but that button is gonna see use that button is going to uh come in really handy um <laughs> i can't um i mean like i don't want to go so far well actually i mean i c- if i wanted to i could go so far as to mandatory pre-approve uh like, I could make it so that before any, like, guest... And actually, I, mean, I might even do this. I might make it so that before any guest GM text shows up on screen, it shows up on my private secret control panel so that I can give it the yes-no. Because that actually... Yeah. It's one of those things that, like... It, it, it involves trust. It involves a lot of trust to, uh, to like... To give people the the it's I'm I'm really like I'm I'm opening the doors to trolls, and I like I know what I'm doing, I, I like I I'm I'm intellectually aware that that's what I'm doing, who knows if who knows if I really comprehend what it is that I'm doing, uh, yeah okay um, <laughs> so there's still, yeah this is like, I've I've said it a million times but this is like the most rabbit hole, sort of uh, like. It's like the Matryoshka doll of uh, of tasks. It's like it's like an it's like a it's like if you took the, a Matryoshka doll and like combined it with the TARDIS, so that like every time you open like one of those little dolls, there was a bigger doll inside. <laughs> That's what this task is. Um, uh, <laughs> and I knew that going in, but uh, yeah, here I am like making just like radical sweeping changes. Um, so the other thing is, uh, like the reason I, the reason we're working on this, like the reason I came up with this, uh, as like a thing is I took like, I took basically like two weeks off from working on this, uh, and there, so it was like kind of lame of me and like bad of me to have taken so much time off. But the advantage is that I distanced myself. Like I had, I had enough, I had enough like mental space from the project that when I came back to it, I was thinking about about it in very different ways like if if i had been working straight and like the idea had come to me like oh i should cut trusty bard i'd be like no just like knee-jerk reaction no i'm keeping trusty bard but um look at all these wonderful things that we can accomplish by cutting trusty bard um all right i'm gonna um just real quick i'm gonna say uh like um uh set up uh the bomb uh uh that's just my (laughs) that's so like right so we we chose the guest gem but we're not actually doing anything with it yet which we should right and we're still not um we're still not actually like reading in okay so i'm gonna start um i'm actually gonna add these as like separate items uh for myself so uh like uh actually uh appoint uh the uh guest gm and uh like filter uh player input uh player irc input to look in twitter input for guest gms because so far the guest gm system i mean like one of the things that i have in like my maybe someday list is uh is to have guest gms through twitter which especially if we're having guest gms if we're having like spontaneous guest gms then like that actually makes more sense to i don't know we'll see um but yeah no uh so actually appoint guest gm and uh oh yeah right so uh filter uh, player IRC input, uh, for, uh, guest, uh, GM volunteers, uh, yeah, cause I'm not doing this, and then, uh, and I'm, and I'm not, like, so, um, so we have, like, the, we have, like, the, um, the chat GM system implemented so that players can, uh, yeah, so, like, we don't have to, like, invent the system whereby players, like, guest GMs can, set up an event we do have to adapt it to not just look for because like right now it only looks for the input of a pre-appointed gm but basically we just have to uh we just have to tweak that in subtle ways and uh 
there's going to be a little, there, yeah, there's going to be like a little more, um, uh, a little, there's going to be a little more, well, it, stuff's going to change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so filter, filter as input for, uh, guest jam launches. Oh yeah. So I'll, so I'll make a card for that too. So like, uh, adapt, uh, uh, chat, uh, GM, event, uh, initialization for, uh, for, uh, guest, for spontaneous, uh, uh, guest, uh, gems. Uh, okay, so those are, like, the big, those are, like, the big things that I know I need to do. Uh, and, so the reason I'm putting these out as separate cards is because I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna, uh, sorry, just one sec. I'm gonna, uh, look online. My, uh, my last act as uh, streamer for the the right now times is that I'm going to go online, I'm going to find another cool dev streamer, and we can all go ogle, or um, <laughs> marvel, rather, that's a better word, uh, marvel at the accomplishments of that person while, uh, while I take a quick break. I'm gonna go, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go eat a big pile of green beans. Hey, Watson's online. Maybe we'll go say hi to Watson. Uh, Say hi to Watson's face. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're probably gonna say hi to Watson. Uh, so uh, yeah, right. So I'll be back soon. Uh, but you all have a great time uh, in this other uh, in other in this other cool channel. While uh, while I'm gonna go uh, stuff my face, and we'll be back here later, right? All right. Have a, thank you all for uh, for hanging out, and uh, have a wonderful whatever time of day it is where you are. I'll, I'll, I hope to see you again in the very near future. Uh, so host uh, Watson six twelve. That's W A T S O N underscore six twelve. He's streaming under game development right now. So if the host command didn't work for you, go look it up because this is uh, this is this is someone that you need to be following. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, see you, see you soon.